Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about Ethereum, Cardano, and Polkadot. We're going to be talking about Vitalik, Charles Hoskinson, and Dr. Gavin Wood. And for those of you that don't know, all three of these futurists, geniuses, used to all be on one team known as Ethereum. Vitalik ran the ship. Dr. Gavin Wood was the developer who created the underlying language Solidity, and Charles Hoskinson was the mathematician on this project. Ethereum took the crypto space by storm, introducing smart contracts and really becoming the oil of the space. Kind of like when Uber technology was made, then every other business started using Uber technology. Well, that's what Ethereum did with smart contracts. All these dApps started to build on their platform. All these ERC-20 tokens started to build there. And as they grew at an exponential rate, ideologies and paradigms started to become very controversial from person to person. When we talk about blockchain, we talk about influential impact. So Vitalik has never lost in his life. And when he had a difference with Charles Hoskinson and Dr. Gavin Wood, they went their separate ways. Charles Hoskinson has a YouTube channel and he talks smack all the time. Every time he talks smack, Cardano's price goes up. In January and February, Cardano has outperformed Bitcoin and Ethereum. In March, they have so much news coming up. They have the Africa deal. Potentially Coinbase will IPO. And when they IPO, I bet you Polkadot and Cardano make that list. The other day, we just had Polygon, Matic, uh, Sushi Swap, and Scale make Coinbase. That was just a warm-up, and the big players are going to be Cardano and Polkadot. You can book it. I said it here first, and we'll see in the future, but I'm pretty confident in that. Those, are, those two are in the top five. They shouldn't be disregarded, and I believe if Coinbase wants to IPO, they will definitely list those two major coins but we want to compare these three coins because now we have cardano that's been around for years since the last bull run and bear market and recently august 2020 dr gavin wood introduced polka dot and the entire dot ecosystem which is so interoperable we have polka dot we have parachains we have kusama we have Acropolis, there's so many projects, Kylin Network, Polka Markets. We've made videos on these projects. Definitely check them out. Anything on the DOT ecosystem is so strong. And every perspective is different. Like Ethereum, you can't count them out. They brought the NFT space to fruition. You know, we're talking about crypto punks, the first ever NFTs. Look how valuable they are. Ethereum did that. And now we're talking about ETH 2.0 and how Charles Hoskins said, no, I don't agree. He didn't agree when Ethereum um, had to have a fork and they had a hack. There was a huge disagreement and controversy there. And as you can see, everyone has gone their own ways. But in my opinion, I believe that Charles Hoskinson wants to be the Ethereum killer. And I believe Dr. Gavin Wood doesn't care about being the Ethereum killer. He just wants to be interoperable between all blockchains and all cryptos. And he's a developer. And if you listen to him at all, he believes developers really control the world. And you can see their team has been moving at an exponential pace, much faster than Cardano, by the way, which their roadmap is super slow. Their narrative is great. They have the Africa deal coming with Ethiopia. So yes, I have a huge bag of Cardano, I have a huge bag of Polkadot, and I have a huge bag, bag of Ethereum. All of them are going to perform very well in 2021, and I recommend that you get Cardano and Polkadot as a great hedge against Ethereum. You know, I didn't even mention Binance and the Binance Smart Chain just because of the story of Dr. Gavin Wood, Vitalik, and Charles Hoskinson. It's so interesting to see such smart people have such different perspectives and create such different ecosystems 
because they're all futurists. They want to prove the future. They want to bring something that is, that is absolutely revolutionary. And Ethereum did that with the NFT space, but Charles Hoskinson's perspective is so much different. There's a reason he's attacking Africa. There's a reason Cardano has a huge circulating supply and costs about a dollar. These were all strategic moves. There's a reason they're not listed on Coinbase yet. I'm pretty sure if ADA wanted to be on Coinbase, ADA could have been on Coinbase. They're not there for a reason. It's all strategic. Charles Hoskinson talks smack every day. Follow his YouTube. Vitalik came out saying that Ethereum is going to 100x saying that these second layer protocols will hold us through until V3 for Uniswap comes out and for the EIP to be initialized, which will make Ethereum deflationary. The supply of Ethereum will go down. The miners have threatened to do a 51% attack, but I really don't think it's going to happen. I think it's all noise. Ethereum is still the king of DeFi. Expect a huge pump from Ethereum. EIP happens in July, so get ready for it. People are going to start buying it up just based off the narrative. Polkadot and the DOT ecosystem, the parachain auctions are about to take place. And as you can see, Kusama has gone up exponentially. It was just two, three weeks ago, Kusama was $90. Now we're talking about a $300 Kusama. And they're, they're somewhere in the 40s. They're not even in the top 25 yet. So Everything on the DOT ecosystem is so, so strong. And the narrative and the loyalty from Cardano's community is, on the other hand, probably the strongest in the ecosystem. And then if you're Ethereum, you just cannot ignore the king of DeFi. They're the number two coin. And I know there's a lot of you that were part of the 2017 market, 2016 market. When you heard of smart contracts, you thought this was it. You thought Ethereum was going to outperform Bitcoin. And I do believe that Ethereum is going to outperform Bitcoin very soon. I'm not saying it's going to 100 Gs. I'm saying that it's going to outpace it. You know, with all this news coming out, with the NFT explosion, with the utility, all of this started because of Ethereum. Do not neglect this coin just because of a little bit of high gas fees. You guys think that this is going to be their Achilles heel. It's not. There's too many projects. There's too many smart people. And if anything, it's a testament to how successful they've been. That being said, you really have to choose what you want to invest in. We don't believe in being tribalistic but it's definitely a paradigm shift. So realize what side of history you want to be on, what team you want to be on, and see if you want to diversify or consolidate. Because at the end of the day, I'm not a financial advisor. You should all do your own due diligence. This is just what I'm doing with my money. And I always hedge Ethereum with some Cardano and Polkadot. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed the information. If you guys have any questions, please comment below. And guys, let me know, who do you think is going to do the best during this bull run? Do you think it's going to be Ethereum, the king of DeFi, Cardano, the Ethereum killer, or the brand new Polkadot that just came in to the ecosystem August 2020? They're moving so quickly. There's so much to be excited for. Guys, prepare your bags. Hold on tight because we're about to blast off because this bull run we're just in the middle of it. And this is the time for you guys to change your lives. So definitely do your due diligence and let's get these gains. You and I, we never show emotions. We just keep it down, down inside. Yeah, you and I Both longing for expression For the things we like But we stay quiet, we stay quiet. Hold me now, hold me now Tell me things, tell me all about How you feel Just let yourself go Say it loud, say it loud Break the world on the other side Make it real Just let yourself go Just let go